This is certainly a different type of video, but it's going to be good fun, especially with the Premier League season about a month and a half away from kicking off. Here we are, I'm Broke Boy 2000, I am a Wolves fan, today we're going to be looking at the fixture list for Wolves and predicting their season. Obviously this is about a month and a half in advance, so I might do one a few weeks before the season starts. If you are new, and if you enjoy this style of content, or you're just a Wolves fan, subscribe to the channel, and I'll try and do more football release related content as the season progresses. So we're going to start here, and I'm going to start by saying, as it stands with the current squad, this is what I'm taking into. Obviously there are rumours, the likes of Palinia and Matias Nunes are currently rumoured, but Palinia is also rumoured to be Fulham, so we're going to take that into account. Ruben Neves could leave as well, as could a few other players like Catrone and whatnot. So we're going to take those into account, of course, and we're going to see if we can predict Wolves and their point score at the end of the season. We'll come back to it at the end and see how close or far off we were. Anyway, let's start. August 6th, Leeds United away. Opening day, Leeds United have made quite a few good signings. Aronson and Christensen, to name a few. And I don't know. Leeds obviously beat Fulham, coming from two down in what proved to be one of the games that kept them up. So, I don't know whether that momentum is going to carry over. They would have stayed up, had that pre-season with Jesse Marsh under the belt. I would like to say that Bruno is going to condition his lads another pre-season under the belt, and we're going to scrape out a win here. It is Leeds. Leeds starting at home will be good for them, but we're going to look and get the win. Fulham, again, they haven't made many signings, especially of any you know, big significance, but if we're going based on standards, I would back Wolves to get another win over Fulham. However, of course, anything could happen, especially with Palinia. Newcastle next, away home. No, I've forgotten. We've got Spurs, which is probably going to be our first loss of the season, depending on who the manager is, because as we know, Conte could leave at any given moment as is the case whenever he manages a football club. I back him to stay at Spurs, of course, but I 100% predict them to, you know, get the dub. It'll be a close affair, of course. Bruno and Conte had a few close battles in the season just gone, but I expect Spurs to get the dub. Newcastle at home, interesting one. Newcastle, of course, with that big Saudi takeover, I expect them to at least get a point. I don't know whether they'll win. I expect them to at least get a point. It'll be a disappointing point at home, but it's the least I expect against Newcastle. Unless they get a few more signings. Of course, I might do another one of these in a couple of weeks or a couple of months when the season kicks off. And then we got Bournemouth away to round out the month of August. I definitely back Wolves to get a win over Bournemouth here. Obviously, the newly promoted sides have that aura about them, which sort of buoys them to do well early. Bournemouth might have that, but of course we don't know how things are going to work out. If our full-strength team is fit, which obviously you never know, but if our full-strength team is fit, I am backing Wolverhampton to pick up a total of what, 10 points? which is pretty optimistic. <laughs> it is pretty optimistic to get 10 points from the first five games. I don't know if that will continue though. Especially with some of these September fixtures. Start with Southampton at home. Again, I'm pitching another win. It could either be a win or a draw, but for the sake of this, I'm gonna give them a win. The next two games, I'm gonna sort of group together. Liverpool away, Man City at home. This will be more of a test for Liverpool and City. This will, these will be the sorts of games that determine the title race. Not for Wolves, of course. For Liverpool and City, I expect City to probably run away and win 2 or 3 nil. Liverpool might be a bit closer, just based on the styles that they seem to play. West Ham, another one. I'm not expecting a win against West Ham. A potential loss could be a thing. 
but we did pick up a win against them last year, so it is possible, again. But I'm expecting a draw at least, so we'll say that's what, 14 points? Then Chelsea away is an interesting one, because Chelsea are obviously going through a lot of turmoil at the club at the moment. They haven't been able to make any signings. They've lost a few key names. The likes of Rudiger and Christensen have left the club, which is a little disheartening for them. If And Lukaku is probably on his way out as well. I don't know. I reckon a, a draw would be good, but I, I predict... I'll say a draw. I'll say a draw. A loss is possible as well, but I'll say that Wolves will take advantage of Chelsea and probably scrape out a draw away from home. And then Nottingham Forest, I mean, we haven't heard much of their signings at the moment. There's not a lot. They're apparently rumoured with Dean Henderson, who is quite the goalkeeper on his day. I'm backing Wolves to get some points at home. You've got to bank up those points at home if you're going to be in that European race, which I believe Wolves can do. Crystal Palace is an interesting one. Vieira proving to be one of the managers of the season, getting key results over the likes of City and Arsenal and Tottenham last season. He's certainly got a good foundation to work with. With what he does with that foundation and the signings he brings in will be interesting to see. I'm predicting a draw because Crystal Palace just seem to have that knack of picking up results. Wolverhampton don't play the most attacking style of football in some occasions. I'm sure fans of the club will know that. Leicester is an interesting one. Leicester at home, I would like to say and be optimistic, but Leicester are one of those sides that unless they're rat rattled with injuries like they were in the season just gone, I back them to get the win, unfortunately. It'll be close. It'll be one or 2-1, it'll be 1-0 one or 2-1, but that's just how it's going to be. Brentford away, depending on what happens, I know Ericsson's not there anymore, depending on their signings. I expect them to be scrappy and to just play that structural style of play that Thomas Frank has brought in, but I expect Wolves to win another close one. It's not going to be many games for Wolves, I feel like, where it's going to be... 5-0, 6-0, 4-0 wins, or 3-0 wins. Because we have a good defence. We had one of the better defences in the league last year, but we also didn't have one of the best attacks. We struggled to score, and it came back to hurt us, and we probably got less points than we could have. Anyway, the two fixtures for November, Brighton and Arsenal. I'm predicting a win against Brighton and a draw against Arsenal. I couldn't predict a win, but Arsenal are one of those sides that are very unpredictable. We've seen that with them over the last few years, especially with Arteta at the helm. He's brought some stability back. He's got that young core fit and firing at Arsenal, but I'm still predicting a draw for Wolves. I feel like a point at home is probably good enough against one of the big European sides. Get them spurring because Everton and United before the World Cup, not even before the World Cup, great, that'll be after the World Cup. Everton away, I'm predicting a win, obviously. Everton, very close to going down, they secured their safety with one or two games to play. United, we don't know what's going to happen with Eric Ten Hag. I'm going to predict a loss for... Wolves, because Ten Hag is going to have his team fit and firing, going to be a fair few months into the season, and he's hopefully going to have his style of play down pat, which will probably mean that it comes down to quality of players in the squad, and United have that quality advantage over Wolves. January, Aston Villa, West Ham, and City are predicting a draw against Villa. I know they've brought in a few quality signings, still maybe more to come. The likes of Kamara, Diego Carlos. I'm just predicting a draw. It is going to be tough to, you know, break them down, of course. They've got some of the best defenders in the Prem, the likes of Mings and Matty Cash, Emiliano Martinez, but I'm predicting a nil all draw. Then West Ham, again, I'm probably predicting a win. I'll be optimistic. It's at home. Molyneux brings the atmosphere for Wolves games. I'm predicting a win at home against West Ham. 
I'm predicting a win at home against West Ham. City, probably another loss away. Probably a closer loss because Bruno will probably change his tactics up from the first one. Liverpool at home, I expect another loss. Or maybe a draw, but I'm expecting a loss. I'm expecting a draw against Southampton as well. Probably just because you, know, you never know how the season's gonna go. Bournemouth, expecting a dub. Fulham, expecting a dub. Spurs, depending on their European run, I'm probably expecting a loss or a draw. But I'll say loss. Newcastle, expecting another draw. Leeds, will say we're gonna get a win. Forest, a win. Chelsea, probably a loss. Brentford, win. Leicester, loss. Palace, we'll say a win. Brighton, probably a draw. Villa, draw. Newcastle, or well, Manchester United, will say a win because at the end of the season you never know what might happen. That momentum Wolves might need might kick on and give them the Spur to go on, Everton will probably win, and Arsenal will probably lose, because it's standard world fashion. But anyway, I will come back to this in about a week, not even a week, probably about a month or so before the season starts, and we'll do a recap, and we'll do a different one with all the signings that Wolves have. But let me know, where do you think we'll finish? I think Europa League is pretty realistic. Europa League, Conference League, that's the minimum for me. If we don't finish in European football this year, it's a bit of a bust. But we also have to have the right investment. Pelini and Nunes, get rid of Ruben Neves, probably as sad as he is, because he's quite a good player. It's going to be sad to see him leave. Got to get a few defenders in as well. Get some depth in that defence, because we don't have enough. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed, and I will catch you all in the next one. Let's go Wolves!